Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 19, 2021. If you like the support channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Ethereum where you can follow us and also copy our trades. So the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have had an absolutely horrible day for most likely the entire market. Especially the Nasdaq fell uh, significantly, oil fell completely apart, nearly 2 and 9% it fell, it's the biggest fall since uh, uh, July uh, last year, if I remember uh, correctly. But uh, it was also anticipated for most of these things to basically fall. We are looking at the S&P 100 or the SPX here on, uh, on Etero. And as you can see, we have been getting really close to the top of the Bullinger Band and uh, also the 4,000 uh, level, and then we just fell apart here. We did not test the 20 exponential moving average. We're trading at 3,921, and these technical indicators, they are all turning around. So at this point, if we manage to break the 20 exponential, then we'll go and test the 50 at roughly at 3,859. And if that breaks, we'll go all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band here, which is at 3,772. If we were to completely fall apart here, then yes, we could go and target the 200 moving average. And that's all the way down here at 3,500. But we'll also run into the Fibonacci retracements, which at this point are roughly here at 3,700, at 3,617, and then the last one at the 200 moving average at 3,528. Uh, so to the upside, there is not a lot of upside at this point. We could basically uh, rally from the 20 exponential. That is to be seen tomorrow when the market opens. Uh, but these technical indicators, they are looking more and more bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones, we can get the Bollinger Band back up here. We can see that we got to the top of the Bollinger Band and then it basically uh, made this inverted hammer, which is a fairly uh, negative, uh, negative um, candlestick. If we get another red candlestick here tomorrow or the opening, that is basically the market telling you that this is most likely going to head towards the 20 exponential. That's around uh, 32,094 uh, or the middle of the Bullinger Band right underneath for a few more 100 points underneath. And then we have the 50 moving average down here at 31,374. Technically, they are still uh, bullish. Uh, MACD is bullish. Uh, Stochastic is basically on the signal line, but it's still in bullish territory. CCI is still bullish and the uh, RSI is basically flat at this point, but we're on the edge of being overbought. So if the other indices fall, it is also very likely that we'll see uh, the Dow Jones fall as well. 20 exponential will most likely offer quite a lot of uh, support in this uh, case. And so will the 50 as we have been bouncing off the 50 for uh, several times now the last previous months. So let's look at the NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ had a horrible day today. So this was not a good sign. So we tested for three consecutive days the 50 moving average, and we did not manage to break above that. We can get rid of this. And we also have the Fibonacci retracements here. And we can see that we tested exactly the 61.8 three times, and then we just fell apart here. So we are down more than 3%. Um, at this current stage, we can also look at a we know that this is the basically the top at this moment. We can look where we'll basically find support. So first, 12,753. Underneath that, we have 12,631. And then we head all the way down to 12,200. Um, this is not looking very good for NASDAQ. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all turning around. CCI is going back to negative. Uh, IC, uh, CCI is turning back to negative territory. And the RSI is turning around. The stochastic is crossing the signal line, and the MACD is also under zero and is also about to cross this uh, underneath the signal line. So it looks like we are 
going back south uh, and probably will retest these previous lows here. If this breaks, then we have the 200 moving average all the way down here at 12,000 or uh, not 12,000, 11,900 give or take. Um, but 12,000 will probably be an area where a um, significant lot amount of buy-in will occur. So yes, to the upside, if we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we'll probably, um, and probably also the 50, which is fairly unlikely at this current stage, then we'll go probably significantly higher, but this is not looking very good for the NASDAQ. So I need to get moving average back here. Yes, and now we'll go to the German DAX. So while the US indices, S&P 500 and the, the NASDAQ were basically falling apart, we have been rallying actually here in the DAX, but gave most of those gains uh, away in the end of the session. So these second indicators are looking fairly more bullish for the, da for the DAX than um, for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. So, but we still have this inverted hammer. So it may well be that things change tomorrow when the market opens. If we get a red candlestick here, then we'll probably target 14,500. And then if that breaks, we'll go towards the 20 exponential at 14,317. And then the 15, 50 moving average at 14,000. 14, so yes, it's just to keep an eye on. This is um, also has also been rallying significantly for the last few trading days and have been very close to being overstretched here in the bullish band. We were outside here, also got to the top and then pulled back. So let's look at the UK 100. So as you can see, we also had a fairly terrible day here. So I said yesterday that we most likely pull back towards the 20 exponential and find support there. We did not test the 20 exponential, but got really close and then pulled back. Technical indicators for the UK 100 are um, looking fairly bearish at this point. So stochastic is cross the signal line, CCI is, is, is bearish, the RSI is bearish, and the MACD is going to cross the signal line probably the next day or two. So if the um, 20 exponential breaks, uh, then we'll have the 50 here at uh, 6,648. And after that, we have all the way down here at the 6,500. So um, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Etero. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.